Well, um, it's always a key, I think, after you win a first game of your homestand uh, to back that up. And I, I thought our guys just did a tremendous job of you know, doing the things that we needed to do. We wanted to establish post game, and I thought Tony struggled early, but we established post feeding early in the game, and in the second half, he was really good. Uh, I thought a big key was Norman, the job he did on Wallace, um, holding Wallace to four points, three assists, three turnovers. Um, that's probably the low. Uh, low game for Wallace the entire year. So I thought that was a tremendous key to our defense, hold him to 54 points, 40% shooting, um, a lot of good things from the, you know, this team came in, I think, leading the Pac-12 and assist turnover. And we get them, they get nine assists, 16 turnovers. So uh, really pleased with our defense. And I thought our offense did a lot of good things, uh, especially in the second. I thought the ball moved well in the first half. I didn't like our pace. Um, but in the second half, the pace was much, much better. And uh, overall, tremendous win for us. What's the timeline for when Norman might be 100%? Looked like he was still a little bit, um, didn't have as much. I time. thought he was terrific. Uh, I mean, he practiced hard yesterday. He, you know, he can tell you what percentage he is, but I hope his percentage stays the way it is right now. 13 points, four steals. He was the one that guarded Wallace the whole game. And um, he's most, it's a team deal, but he's mostly responsible for what happened to, to Wallace. So for him to sustain a bruise to his hip, practice as hard as he did yesterday. He practiced his entire practice for an hour and 20 minutes yesterday. Uh, and I thought he was terrific tonight. So whatever percentage he tells you, I hope it stays that way. <laughs> I know Kavan was saying uh, before that in the locker room, you had written you know, three wins, nine days, or something like that. Uh, getting the second one, how, how huge is it just for the confidence of this team? Kavan's well, I'm a golfer. And you, you can't birdie them all if you don't birdie the first one. So it's the same way. You know, if, if we're talking about nine days, three wins, uh, mission's over if you don't get the second one. You know, you, you can't accomplish it. Now, uh, we had a mission to go nine days and get three wins, and now, you know, they've got a chance to succeed at that. It's not going to be easy. You know, USC's playing right now, and we got to go on the road again for three straight. So, but it's a mission if we do it, we could get this thing, you know, tilting back the other way, and we got to go on the road again after a break. So, this is a very tough stretch, and, and our guys know that. We've talked to them about that, but we got a chance to ride it, and, and we've gotten better. You know, regardless of where we played these games, we've gotten better in the last week, and that's really one. It's great for them because they've worked so hard, um, and we know just one game this week, but it's going to be a big one. Given where the confidence may have been after after the long road trip, how much of a springboard that Stanford win, not only winning but coming back two overtimes, how much of a springboard was that? Well, we talked about that. That's what, you know, you've got to continue to learn lessons when you're a young team. And if you look at Kentucky and Utah, are easily the two best teams we've played. Right? They're easily, uh, especially defensively. Um, but if you looked at what happened in both of those games, we got kind of punched in the face. Um, they guarded us extremely well in the first half in both of those games. And we didn't, we just couldn't respond. We ended up taking tougher shots, forcing things, not trusting one another. And I think what came out of all that was, you know, now we come to the game with Stanford and we're down 14 with nine minutes to play. It would have been easy to revert back to that. Oh, well, let's take bad shots. Let's not move it. Let's, you know, it's all, I get it as a competitor. It's like, you just want to do it yourself. Well, but you can't, you got to trust your teammates. And I think what came out of the Stanford game was we put a lot of trust within the team. Guys really trust one another. Um, and so that was good that they were able to come back and win and do it in a 50 minute game. And then to put together this 40 minutes, backing that up, uh, you know, hopefully it, it gives them a little bit of momentum now. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.